tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Jeff Ramsey heads to Brooklyn oh my God. to tackle the many problems of a 55-year-old restaurant. I've just had one of the most disgusting lunches I've ever had. Owner John is not only clinging to the past. It worked before. Why can't it work now? He is no longer running his restaurant. Do you have any idea that this is going on? He works primarily at the pizza oven. They weren't a fan of the egg cream. I don't know what they're doing over there. And he's unaware of what's happening. Where is John? Oh, my God. In the kitchen. I'm embarrassed to do some of the things that we do here. In the dining room. Look at this mess. Or in his storage. They're frozen moldy. And as a result, the restaurant is a disaster. There's a man vomiting in the toilet now. It's a Kitchen Nightmares inspection that will have you in shock. Cool. It's off! Conditions are so bad. We could possibly kill them. Kill someone. A customer pays the price. Call an ambulance. Oh my god. Get ready for an emotional roller coaster as Chef Ramsey tries to save a defiant owner. If I need you to tell me to put the key to the door, sure. I would have done that without you coming here. From destroying his parents' legacy. I don't want to be here no more. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Thank you, chef. In Brooklyn, New York, lies the historic neighborhood of Cobble Hill, a hip, thriving area and home to Sal's Pizzeria, run by John Esposito. My parents came here from Italy and they took over this pizzeria in 1970. And at the age of 14, uh, I left high school to help my mom and dad run the business. This has become my life ever since. Hello, Sal, how can I help you? We ran the place very successfully. Thank you. By the 90s, we were able to purchase the restaurant next door. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to Maria's. Thank you. My mom became sick. She got diagnosed with cancer. And we thought the right thing to do was to name the room after my mom. That's why you have Sal's Pizza and Mama Maria's. His father passed away, his mom passed away. He was the only one in charge of everything. And as the years passed, it started to go down. We don't have that kind of volume of sales that we once had. And I can't figure out the reason why it dropped off. Where's the people? I've stayed the same. I haven't changed. They weren't a fan of the Eggman. I don't know what they're doing over there. John, as the owner, is supposed to be in charge of this whole place, including the kitchen. But he's usually up front making pizzas covered in, in flour. It's a nightmare, right? It is a nightmare. The pizzeria and a restaurant are two different animals. That's like the accountant that thought it'd be cool to open a wine bar. Stop paying attention over here for a minute. Get in the kitchen. Really look at what's going on. John treats this place like his second home. He's got four kids that are always here, running around the restaurant. It doesn't really look good for the restaurant. John is an extremely stubborn owner. All right, so this is the way we're going to set up the table. Listen, hold your rolls and don't get down here. It's my restaurant. In his mind, the system has worked, but it really stopped working like 20 years ago. Cabo Hill used to be a very old school Italian neighborhood, but now we have much, much younger people moving in. Uh, a lot of people like to call them hipsters. Hey, sorry, uh, spaghetti doesn't taste quite right. I don't know what to tell you. It's a fresh tomato sauce. Throw this up. Am I going to put on plastic glasses, get a funky haircut, put an earring in my ear just to accommodate the new people? I'm not going to do that. How about things on this side? Not bad. Horrible. Really? Yeah. John is holding on to the past and to the way things were done when his parents ran the business. We didn't do anything tonight. We didn't even do a quarter of what we used to do. Any businessman would have said, enough is enough, pull the plug. But how do you pull the plug on family history? Pretty tough. Yeah. We got to do something to boost these checks. This place, it's mom and dad. Losing one is like losing a parent again. They're not prepared to handle that. Mama Maria's. What is that? That is ghastly. Holes everywhere. That is not a good sign. Damn. My goodness me. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? First name is? Fabio. Yeah, good to see you. I'm right. the manager here. That outside looks like an eyesore. Mm. Whose idea was that? The owner, he actually cut the letters out. Why? I guess because it was tearing and he just completed the whole thing. And the owner is? John. And he is? 
Where? Next door. He's responsible for, like, the pizzeria. So, two restaurants? Right. Mama Maria's I'm standing in. Right, and then there's Charles Pizzeria next door. Um, right, I'm gonna go meet the owner. Okay. Uh, thank you. No problem. Wow. So, Sal's Pizzeria. John? There he's there. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Excellent. So, are you filling in today? Someone phone in sick? I pretty much is make the pizzas. Yeah, I always work the front of the counter. Oh, so you're pizzas. behind there constantly? Yeah. Wow, how long have you been making pizzas? Since I'm um, 10 years old. That's incredible. I got confused with a hideous canopy outside. Was that you who cut holes in the canopy? Uh, actually, the wind did that. The wind did that? Yeah. Anyway, come round. Let's have a, a catch up. OK, first of all, give me a little insight, the history. My mom and dad had a pizzeria, and my father and my mother did all the cooking in the back. Sure. By the 90s, my mom got sick. She came down with cancer. She passed first. I'm sorry, he's no longer with me. Wow. So that's why it has two different right. names. Mom and dad, Sal and Maria. Right. Combined restaurants, what is the number one problem here? We're not busy. You're not busy? Uh, there's more competition in the neighborhood, and uh, we're struggling. We're struggling to keep the doors open. It's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I'd like to meet and find out what's going on here. It's very uncomfortable for me to sit here right now and ask for help. Thank you. I'm not feeling who I am. I feel weak. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? And this is? Lori. Lori, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. What'd you do? I'm a waitress. Excellent. What's wrong with the restaurant? Um, lack of leadership. Uh, John's a little frantic, chaotic, um, usually very busy in the pizzeria. Yeah. John has been here forever. So you would think John would know how to run this place, but he doesn't want to change anything because this is what his parents knew before they passed away. Homemade pastas. Pasta made daily on the premises. All the pastas made fresh on a daily basis. Yep. OK, um, start off with the tortellini patata. OK. I've got to try the spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs. Margarita, please. OK. Thank you. Wow. Vangalea Reganata, second course. You got the tortellini patate. The food is not good here, but it's not my food. I'm serving it the same way we always serve it. Oh, boy. I think the chef Ramsey's going to have a heart attack when he sees what goes on around here. Oh, my god. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Ralphie. How are you? Good. I'm Fran. I'm Fran, nice to see you, darling. What'd you do? I oh, just you... showed the desserts. To oh, the OK. Table. Let's, let's have a look. Show sure. me. Wow. So they showcase the desserts. Mm. So this is our desserts. Everything's made here fresh on premise. Right. So, jeez. Uh, what is that? It's butter. It's, oh, it's butter? Yeah, just to display Oof. as the ice cream. And that, uh, that mold on there, you show that? No, the butter's on top, so it covers that. And that bit there? Yeah. And Fabio, you're the general manager, right? So you've got no idea this. We're presenting those moldy bits of and it's stuck with butter on top? Now, That's those what? are just for display. Hold on, hold on. For... Because they're for display, you've got the right to cake them in mold and serve customers a display that's full of mold. So we're supposed to, like, put a fresh one every day so we can throw it out? Are you kidding me? What do you think? I think that, you know, as long as it's... I mean, it's fresh, it's good. I mean, you... but I wouldn't... But I wouldn't... Are you... I mean, have you lost the plot? No, I haven't. No. It's changed no, colours it's... four times, and it absolutely reeks. All I'm saying is that this is for display. We're not serving it. So, do the customers deserve a display that's full of Oh, my God. He's ripping into him. He's ripping into him, man. Look at this mess. Oh, my God. That, it must be two months old. It's probably a few days old. A few days? Uh, we don't serve it. It's for presentation. I'm only. aware you're not serving it. Thank Gold Star. Congratulations on that one. That's, uh, that's a big breakthrough with you. That's why you're here. Excuse me? That's why you're here. I'm here to tell you that that and you no. shouldn't be presenting it. No, you I'm don't know the difference between mold and fresh? It's for presentation only. Give me two seconds. I need to clean my hands. I'm caked in mold. I've got disgusting butter and I've got hands full of pus. Oh, my God. Oh, I see. We got Tylenol or codeine? No. <laughs> He's gonna come throw it at us. I'd rather him throw it at us than we serve it to him. The patata? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. 
It's bland. I mean, really bland. And visually, it looks like someone's just eaten that whole dessert tray. And it shot out twice as quick as it went in. Laurie, it's just bland. I mean, really bland. I'll let them know. And this is frozen because there's a grainy potato flavor inside that. I don't think anything's frozen here. Yeah. So the tortellini aren't frozen. I'll double check. Thank you, though. Uh oh. He said it was very, very bland. He asked if the um, the tortellini were frozen. I wasn't sure if they were frozen or not. He's right. All our pasta is fresh frozen. That's the most mind-boggling thing in this place. We make everything and then freeze it. Chef, the tortellinis are frozen. Oh, they are frozen. They are. So you advertise you're making it daily, but you freeze it daily. Something's wrong, big time. Thank you. Mate. Wow. They said the tortellini is frozen. I, I, I can't, I didn't even know. Me either, I thought everything was like fresh. It makes no sense. What, to make it fresh and then freeze it? And then freeze it, it makes no sense. Does anyone clean here? Fabio, how often is this place cleaned? I have no idea. You've got no idea when this place was last cleaned? They don't have a cleaning crew. And all these? I'm not sure I'll have to ask John. What's that smell in here? Ah. That's the smell. Oh my god. What in the that? It was a little bit of a payback because he just finished tearing me apart. I thought that was a little bit of karma. Did I get you? Yeah. Where in the did all that come from? You over flooded it. Who watered the plants this morning? John, they're full of water. Somebody watered the plants. Someone's doing a great job at watering plants, but not changing desserts. Man. Wow. Now I'll pay for any dry cleaning, right? OK? Me. The spaghetti and meatballs. I would say enjoy, but I know better. Spaghetti and meatballs? Spaghetti and meatballs. Um, fresh meatballs or frozen? Frozen. Oh, come on. Everything is frozen. Look at that now inside, how rubbery it looks, even before tasting it. Man, look at that, how dry that is. A dry, disgusting, frozen meatballs. Uh oh. Meatballs are frozen, rubbery, and dry. He's right. OK. Every product we use in here is frozen. When I first started here, we cut up a leg of veal, and I'm still waiting to use it. And here's your pizza. For a margarita pizza, it's very greasy. Yeah, I've got oil slicks in here. Doesn't like the pizza either. It's too greasy. That's just full of grease. Laurie, the pizza's grease is anything. But what concerns me, John's behind the bar. All the food's coming out, and I want him to taste what he's sending me, because I'm a little bit miffed to why I'm here, if no one's caring. OK. Please? Sure. Wow. He said the pizza is greasy and that you should be tasting everything that before it gets sent out to him. I've had enough. Oh, boy. I know. I've had enough. I have enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. After being disappointed by bland frozen food and greasy pizza at Brooklyn's Mama Maria's, A joke. Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen looking for an explanation. I don't want to talk to this guy when he comes in here. Come on, everybody outside. Uh, introduce me to who's who. This is Joe. Joe. This is Oscar. Joe. How are you? Hi, how are you? Come through. Valentino. Hello, sir. Valentino, how Very are you? Good to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Um, I don't know where to start. I've just had one of the most disgusting lunches I've ever had. I stopped a dessert tray full of mouldy desserts and the tortellini, grainy, bland, and the potato was just dreadful. The meatballs, frozen, dry, solid. Yes, they're disgusting. I don't eat them. But you can't make meatballs every day. 
You get 20 pounds of chopped meat, you make the meatballs, and you freeze the rest. Do you know how long it takes to make five pounds of meatballs? 10 minutes. It's what we've done all our lifetime. I haven't just started this yesterday. The meatballs are always done. You should get away with it, 1967. It's 2012, John. Does anyone have standards here? We're not in control of the menu. Whose menu is this? It's my menu. I'm embarrassed to do some of the things that we do here. Are you kidding me? We make pasta fresh and we freeze it. Like, are you crazy? But why are you doing it? I don't have a choice. Who's stopping you? The menu. My menu. Why don't you listen to this man? He's spoken more sense in the last five minutes than anybody has since I've been here. Do you listen to your staff? They're not paying my bills. I'm the guy paying the bills. Oh, because you make the pizza, and so they can't have a voice. You should be nowhere near this business. I don't agree with you. I think we should close the doors. I don't think this man actually gives a I I didn't, I didn't call you can, can because I, I want to put the key to the door. I, if I need you to tell me to put the key to the door, sure. I would have done that without you okay. coming here. It worked before. Why can't it work now? But you're running on nostalgia. It stood still. And yet, outside these four walls, the whole neighborhood has overtaken you. You're in love with the memories, John. I don't know what to say. Thank you for your honesty. I need a shower. I stink of plant juice. I'm not going to close the doors just because he said he said so. I don't agree with him. 100% game on, all right? Within a short time of his arrival, Chef Ramsay has discovered that the staff may actually know more than the owner. What are we supposed to do? So we didn't make these recipes. And now he's eager to see how the team functions in a dinner service. Oh, my God. Yep. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to my Thank you. Second course, Papa Del tomato sauce. Our boxes, pizza boxes, grande before, rapido. What's going on down here? Hello. Business running as normal, John. Yes, this is. Yes. Yeah. If I wasn't here, you'd be doing exactly the same. Exactly the same. No difference. You're going to leave. Give me that portobello clam. I need that first. So that's what John would normally do, just all night on the pizzas out there. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't come in here, he just stays out there all night. He's afraid. I think he's afraid of the kitchen. He's afraid of the I kitchen? I think so, sir. He owns the place. I know. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it's insane. As John seems content to pound away at the pizza oven... Margarita sauce, margarita! The kitchen, led by Joe, is pushing out food at a steady pace. Pick it up! Here is your pasta. But that doesn't mean the fast-arriving food... ...is pleasing the customers. How's everything? Um, the shells are, like, frozen. Okay. It looked like it's freezer burned. All I got was rosemary. All I taste is rosemary. I don't taste any of the sauce. I found a bone in my sauce. What's that? A bone. A bone. A bone. A bone. I'm a vegetarian. Who's inside the sauce? Joe, two seconds. There's a bone in a rigatini. This is vegetarian. And the tomato sauce, they put pork bones in it. What the? She's vegetarian. That's how we do it every day. John is responsible for the methods that we use to produce the food. Get me John, urgently. He says, if you don't like it, leave. John, this, this is urgent now. A lady had just found a pork bone in the rigatini. We use to give the sauce over. We always, just always add it. Sausage, so sauce. So you're serving pork bones in the sauce to a vegetarian. Oh. That's how we prepare food for the last 40 years, and I don't see it being a problem. A pork sauce to a vegetarian? It's the way we've always done our business. But you can't serve a vegetarian a pork sauce. Um, what the f is going on here? I don't know what. what... Hey, enough. Had enough. Had enough. Had enough. Do you want me to order you a coffee? Will that make it better? Are you okay? Because I can't hear you. Are you waiting for the uh, bathroom, Billy? No, um, my friend got sick. Is he vegetarian? No. No. What did he have? The lobster tail. Okay. And the lobster, he said, tasted um, funny. And the next thing I knew, he was sick. Okay. John, you want to see? 
Yeah. Yeah, lobster, I have the mushroom. And then... Would you like a medical assistance? Would you like for me to call 911? Jerry, pass me a lobster tail, please. I need one lobster tail. It's tough, right? Why are you guys throwing up? He's in the bathroom and he's sick. Please show me exactly what you served that customer. Yeah? Please. Thank you. No. You all right? OK. No. Chef, your lobster's ready. Chef. John, come here, you. Mr. Murray. Seriously. Fishy. I can smell the ammonia. Yeah, you smell that? And that's what that man's just eaten. That's so, ammonia. That's what releases. When the body starts to decompose, yeah. it's being pulled apart and then decompose. That's what makes it bad. Joe, just clarify something for me. We could possibly kill them. Kill someone. And whilst we're discussing this, there's a man vomiting in the toilet now. I can't believe this is happening right now. It feels like I know that you got somebody sick. And it's the first time you've got your head out the dough. But it's John's responsibility no matter what, because John buys all the product that we use. Yeah, please. Should we call an ambulance? It does not look well. Call an ambulance. Hi, this is Sal's Pizzeria. I need an ambulance. The customer's not feeling well. Your face is really flushed. Oh, my god. My worst fear is when anybody gets sick in my restaurant. Where's a shot of something? I need a shot. I need a shot of something. I got a guy vomiting. No, no, give, me, give me something. Give me quick. Whiskey? Vodka, what? Vodka. If somebody came to your house and you cooked them a dinner, how would you feel he started puking all over the place? A guy had some lobster, and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman sit down. Oh, my God. We just saw an ambulance come out? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Need to kill the cameras. Kill the cameras. It's dinner service at Mama Maria's. You all right? You OK. Go. One of the diners is feeling ill after eating a questionable lobster. Smart. Seriously, fishy. And that's what that man has just eaten. And the paramedics have just arrived on the scene. A guy had some lobster, and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman's sitting down. It's terrible for anybody to get sick on anything that you serve. You, you, I want to stop everything. Just close the place down now. OK, so whatever's been served is been served. I do not Shut want to serve. I do not want to serve anything else. Joe, Shut it down. Done, done. Call to vegetarians. Now this. I've had it. Just stop. Everybody stop, OK? Nothing else leaves this kitchen unless it's going in a garbage bag. OK, so when I shut it down, they'll just kick everybody out. Just apologize. Out. No check. I'm deeply sorry. And we have a, an issue that I have to deal with. My apologies. OK. We need to close. Go to the tables. Tell everybody they need to go. No checks. Just go. OK? Close them. Oh, so sorry, but we're going to close the restaurant down, too. So should we not eat this? Yes, don't eat it. Just yeah, don't, don't eat it. Just, <laughs> we're shutting okay. down. We are shutting down. I'm sorry. Am I going to get sick from the appetizer? Is no, that, no, is it that no. Kind of just they're not going to serve anything else. It's embarrassing to have paramedics walk into your restaurant and to have to shut down your restaurant because of that. Should we take his contact information or any kind of information like that? John, can I have a word? Yeah. Outside. <clears throat> John, tonight was beyond a disaster. Oh, I never expected this. Never in my wildest dreams. It's all humiliation. But it's not just bad food, John. It's bad practices that mean you're so detached from your business. You don't look like an owner. You don't sound like an owner. You're like a member of staff back there. Uh, you, you're right. But why? I don't know why. I don't know why. I just because I think I've been beat up too much. There's got to be some fight inside. There's got to be some. Listen, I am a fighter. I've been a fighter my entire life. I was thrown into this place because they needed to, they needed a, a, a horse, a donkey to run the place because they couldn't afford to hire people. They sacrificed my education and throw me in here. But you've given up. Come on. You're destroying yourself. Listen. Help me change. I will help you, but you have to understand. You cannot be a member of staff pounding dough. That's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. I do it because I love my family. And I want to provide for them. The best way I know how. 
Do you think they get enjoyment watching you kill yourself in there? John, come on. You have to take a big, long step back and stop running this place from a pizza oven. No. <clears throat> I, I can't. I mean, no, emotionally, I can't. Why? I need to take a break. Listen, you're an owner. Hey, I can see the pain. I feel it. Let me tell you. I've got four kids of my own, and I know how hard it is. But I'm here for you. And I want you to win. Understand that. Man to man. I'm telling you. I want you to win. But you've got to listen. OK? We can do this, right? You I do want not. to do it. Good. Have fun. We're going to start. Have fun. Come back, okay. kids. Let's do it for them, OK? See you in the morning. Chef Ramsay may have pledged his help to John, but he needs to get a handle on everything before he can implement changes. So early this morning, he does a little research. See how much frozen food there really is. Oh God! Yes. Bloody hell, fettuccine. Penne. They said they had frozen food, but I certainly wasn't aware there was this much. Oh my God! It just goes on. It's endless. How much pasta's in here? Look at the colours. It's frozen badly. No date, no name. Look at it. Oh, you're kidding me. Sausage skin. I mean, honestly, look at this. Buckets of them. What's that? That's just out of two freezers. And look, there's more freezers down there. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Chicken freezer burned. Oh, man, look at this. This must be five years old, this stuff. It's ruined. You can't cook that. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a joke. Look at that. Oh, come on. Meatballs. This is ridiculous. They're frozen molded. What's that? Oh, God. No dates, no labels. Another freezer. Frozen vegetables, frozen pasta. My God. I don't even know what it is. An ice cream container. Some are filled with pasta shells. Look at this stuff. Freezing tiramisu. You are kidding me. Oh, that's eggplant. How many portions of fruit is here? Well, it's just endless. Oh, my God. 